Hi, it's Ness from Marley and Lockyer. Um, just want to show you this week about how to make a spoon. So I'm using a stoneware clay. Uh, you could use polymer clay if you wanted to, but just be mindful that if you want a really good um, food-based spoon, then stoneware or porcelain is the go. So all I do is get a ball about 50 grams, split into two, you can get two spoons out of this. Roll it into a ball to start with and just a tiny little bit of water. And then I just squeeze about half of it into my hand and start to roll kind of like a little sausage. And you see there. And then just keep rolling until you get a, you don't want it too thin because obviously your spoon um, can break. So you just want to smooth out any bumps and lumps. This is also a good opportunity. You could put some stamps or decorations whatever you want to put in at this point so then with the ball that you're left with at the end we're just going to press a little indent with your finger just to start you might need a little bit of water just to help sometimes it gets a little bit tacky and then i just keep gently pushing my finger in to that space if you do it too hard it will split and crack and then it's just harder to fix it once it gets to that stage so just keep smoothing you want to get the edges relatively smooth, um, especially if you want to use this to put in your mouth. Um, if it's just a spoon for, say, coffee or sugar, then it doesn't matter as much. And then just go around and smooth the back and any little surface cracks that may have appeared when you were doing the indentation. And then once you've got the basic shape, which we have here, then you can go back with your finger and just a little bit of water to smooth out any lumps or bumps or whatever you can see. I like to lay it on the bench and just smooth out that spoon handle again. And then once I'm happy with the shape, that's it. I hope you enjoy.